The leadership spill in the National Party should be a wake-up call for Scott Morrison. And he needs to remember that he's the Prime Minister of Gladstone, not Glasgow. In my article for the Newcastle Herald, I explained that the key reason why the National Party had a leadership spill is because of the net zero emissions policy that the government has been creeping towards. Earlier this year, we at the Institute of Public Affairs conducted an analysis of what the economic impact of a net zero emissions target would be. We found that up to 653,000 jobs would be put at risk by a net zero emissions target. And these jobs would be concentrated in regional and rural Australia. This is an extremely potent issue for mainstream Australians because only two years ago they had a climate election and they voted that they didn't want a net zero emissions target. One of the key findings from our research is that the National Party holds six of the top 10 electorates when you rank them by the number of jobs placed at risk from a net zero emissions target. Since the 2013 election, Australians have not changed their mind about climate policy. They value their jobs, they value their economic security, and they value providing for their families more than reducing carbon emissions. To support more research on the costs of a net zero emissions target, become a member of the IPA today.